Hello and welcome to the Lucian video tutorial series. In this video, we'll go over sharing cabinets on the network. We'll specifically go over two scenarios. When you already have files on the network that everyone is sharing, how to turn those into a cabinet for everybody to see. In the second scenario, we'll go over how to move files from your own personal computer onto the network and share those as a cabinet. Now before we get started, the prerequisite for doing this is having a working network and having a network drive that everyone can see. If you don't have this, your best bet is to get an IT professional to come in and set one up for you. It's a fairly quick process. If that's outside of your budget, get a tech savvy uh, neighbor, college student, even high school student to come and set one up for you. Or if you feel fairly comfortable with technology, there are a lot of tutorials on the web for setting one up. Okay, let's go over turning an existing network folder into a shared cabinet for all of the users in your office. Now, this is my network drive right here, Drive S. And on this drive, I have a single folder. This is the client's folder. And inside of this folder, I have folders for all of my clients. This is data that everyone on my network shares. We're all using these same folders. It's a very simple matter to turn this into a cabinet. All I need to do is go to each computer on my network, go into File Center, and create a cabinet and point it out to this shared folder. Let me demonstrate how that's done on this computer. First I open File Center and then I come here to the Cabinets button and click Add to add a new cabinet. Now I need to give the cabinet a name. It doesn't matter what the name is. In this case, this is going to be my shared clients. I'm just going to call it Clients. Now the important setting is the cabinet location. I need to set this cabinet to point out to that shared folder on the network. To do that I'm going to click Browse, go out onto my network folder, this is the S drive, that's my network drive, and then this was the clients folder out on my network drive. And you can see it's got all my clients inside of it. I click OK and OK. Now the tab has shown up and there it is. And you'll notice the path down here that this cabinet is out on my S drive. That's my network drive, that client's folder. So now I can see all of the clients here inside of File Center. Now I need to go to each machine in my office and repeat this procedure. Add a cabinet and point it out to the network folder. And at that point, everyone in my office will be seeing and using the same data when they have a client's cabinet in File Center. Now let's go over how to take a folder of files on my machine and put those on the network as a shared cabinet for everyone on the network. Now the first step is to put the files into a cabinet in File Center if you haven't already done so. And doing that is easy. It's just what we did a second ago. You just click the Cabinets button, click Add, give it a name, and then browse out to the folder on your computer that you're wanting to put on the network and share. Now, I'm not going to do that because the cabinet I want to share is already set up here in File Center. It says Business Cabinet right here. Now, to share a cabinet on the network, what I need to do is move the cabinet data from my computer to the network. File Center makes that easy with the Move button right here. When I click this Move button, what File Center is going to do is actually take that data right off of my machine and put it out onto the network drive. I'm going to click Browse right here, go out onto the network, and I'm going to select the network drive. Now, I'm going to put it right on the network drive. In theory, you can put it anywhere on the network drive, including in a subfolder. In fact, a lot of our users like to set up a folder called Shared Cabinets out on their network drive, and we think this is a great practice. Then you just put all of your cabinets in that folder to keep them all in one location. But for now, I'm just going to put it right on the S drive itself. Now when I click OK, File Center warns that it is going to actually move that data off of my machine onto the network. But that's what I want, so I'm going to click OK. Now notice what's happened. The location of the cabinet has changed. It's no longer here on my personal computer like this cabinet down here. It's actually out on that network drive. 
And when I click close, even though everything looks the same here, notice that the location is different. It's out on the network drive. What I need to do now is go around to each one of my user's machines and add a cabinet. And I need to set the cabinet location to this path right here, S Business, because that's where the cabinet data is. And in fact, if I uh, switch over here to my network drive, you can see that there it is. File Center moved it out on the network. So I just need to go around to each user's machine now, set up a cabinet, and put this as the cabinet location. And at that point, all of the users on my network are going to be seeing and using this folder that I just turned into a network cabinet. And that's all there is to it.